Hello and welcome to another update video about VAI Vayot. We are currently in a situation in which VAI is trying to form a low. Okay, so it's trying to bottom there in this area, in this support zone that we defined between 6 cents and 11.7 cents. It's already up 9% here in the last 24 hours. And um, it's shown a reaction to this support area and it's formed the first higher low. Now it needs to form a first higher high, which it has avoided so far. So eventually, um, you know, we expect the price to move higher in the primary scenario. The idea is currently that in a larger degree wave two, the price bottomed on the 20th of October and we had a five wave move up, which is not very clean, okay? So we don't have a very clear five wave move up, but still though, I give it the benefit of the doubt because we had a nice um, one, two setup before, very nice five waves up, three waves down into support and another situation in which the price forms uh, or tries to form a low in the same region within these support regions. It's always the same. Also here, yeah, the price um, VAI formed a low between the 50% and the 38.2 retracement that was back here in October last year. And we now have a similar situation in which VAI is in the same region. And um, basically here, this wave two uh, could have bottomed there in this region now, but it's not clear yet. I need to see more evidence for it. I need to see in the first instance a break out of this trend line to the upside. Yeah, That's what we need to see. And then um, let me just double check if I measured the FIB levels correctly. Yes. So minimum target for a third wave would then be the 81 cent level. Ideal target, the $1.03 level. Well, that's far away, you might think. Why is that so far away? Well, I mean, we can only work with the Fibonacci levels that are common and where we know a third wave should reach those between the 1.236 and the 1.38 minimum and ideally. Okay, it can always go higher, but it's basically, it's got to do, you know, it, it due to these rallies that we've had here, you know, which is very much extended, very long rally we had in this wave one. So the wave three is also very much extended, if it is the correct count. I mean, could always be something like uh, this highlighted in white here, that we get a more extended ABC structure, but that's not very clear yet. Um, it's essentially just to understand this is the support region here we're watching for a reversal D don't know how long it takes really but it shouldn't really take much longer if it does it will probably form a more extended abc but even then as long as this 78.6 fibonacci level at six cents is holding and you might think it's far away well it is but then we should get to 81 cents plus that's a pretty good reward to risk ratio i mean you never know these trades can always fail right but from a reward and risk point of view, I mean, even entering right now, um, getting to 81 cents, maybe even slightly before that, setting a stop below the box gives us here of, you know, we get a reward to risk ratio of nearly 10, possibly even higher, depending on how high it goes, but that's pretty decent. Of course, I don't know if it's gonna hold support, but for now, I can tell you that we have a possible five wave move up and a corrective structure into support. And yeah, I'm just watching here for a potential low to be formed and then for the third wave rally to play out. In a bearish scenario, I mean, surely below six cents, something more bearish is playing out. But as long as we're holding above support, there's no need really to, to focus on that. I mean, the bearish case would be the following, obviously five waves up. This would just be an A wave instead of the wave two. The wave two never finished. It would sit somewhere down there. Um, and we could see a price come to, come back to around about two cents or even 1.1. Nothing, again, nothing I'm primarily, primarily watching for. This could be a B wave and we come down in wave C then. Well, that would be an opportunity, I can tell you that. But um, at the moment we have potential five up and we're holding above support. So naturally this is nothing I'm focusing on. And for risk management purposes, it's worth knowing about it but then for that we've got the six cent level already on the chart as support and below that things are going to get very very uncertain anyway bear in mind that this chart long term really doesn't give us a reliable outlook at least not yet we've got a lifetime downtrend the only reason why i'm counting this as a potential one two setup is because we've had um, 
a five wave move up from the lows that uh, formed in November 22. That's my update about VAI. Vayot, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.